So this is the guy who does that Dilbert cartoon. Who everybody loves Dilbert. Yeah, anybody who's taking a dump and somebody had a collection of <laughs> his thumb through a Dilbert. So he he was very pro. So he's a very, he's very much like me, like I am in my shadow. He's very smug all the time. He's very condescending all the time. He's and he, he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room all the time, and so. All the things that I deny about myself and I put in my unconscious, he has it right on the surface. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good for where, him. Where does he live? Does he live in New York, you think? Or is he in us? I think he other? lives most of the time halfway up his ass. But here we go. Uh, but so here he is. He was all he called people who questioned the COVID narrative anti-vaxxers, which is a very lazy thing to do. But he does. So he does it. And so here he is. And at when I first saw this, I thought, like, good, he is making, he's admitting he was wrong. And I'm not, by the way, I'm not endorsing any medical facts he says in this video. Is he admitting he's wrong? I don't know. Well, let's is. watch. Yeah. So let's watch. Having said as clearly as possible that the anti-vax people seem to be the winners, I want you to hear that clearly. The anti-vax people appear to be the winners. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, who knew? <laughs> so, it the anti vaxxers are the winners, is what he's saying. First yeah. of all, most of the anti vaxxers are not anti vax, right? That was just an insult for people who got injured and they didn't keep their mouths shut. That's what that was, yeah. Well, and you won, and you <laughs> <laughs> and Scott's big enough to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, it's <laughs> <laughs> why is he making this stupid? Oh my god! Look at him. And you won. Yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> Scott's telling you you won. I let him say it clearly. Look at behind him. He drew. He drew a chart. Yeah, he, he was doing. He was. Oh, he's doing like game theory, right? Is that what that's that is? What, I, well, that's how I take it. That's like game theory. You want a buck? Who knew Scott Adams had such a beautiful mind starring <laughs> Russell Crowe as Dilbert? <laughs> Did anybody see a beautiful so, mind? So, um, so, secondly, it, it's not a win, Scott. If, if, if Scott wanted to say it correctly, he could say people who thought there might be an issue with the entire narrative around COVID were right. <laughs> not anti-vaxxers were right. People who were skeptical of the official establishment narrative around COVID, and for good reason. But he just calls them, uh, I wish he would address this using Dilbert strips. <laughs> right? I'm, I, I'm sorry, Scott. Why don't you write a Dilbert where Dilbert files a freedom of information request for the Vax data? How about that? And then, boy, imagine his chagrin. Yeah. When he so they tell him it's going to be seventy five years. Gilbert, <laughs> <laughs> his boss with the triangle hair comes out and tells him. So let's listen to what he says. The anti vaxxers clearly are the winners at this point, and I think it'll probably stay that way. And and I don't want to put any shade on that whatsoever. They came out the best. They they he is believe me. There's a lot of shade coming. <laughs> they came out the best. Believe me, right? I know. No, it's. The, Are we you didn't... telling me Albert Borla is an anti-vaxer? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so he believe me. I I was encouraged when I heard him say that, but believe me, he's going to throw shade, and I'll show you that in a second. Here we go. The winning position. The unvaccinated have a current advantage because they they feel better. The the thing they're not worrying about is what I have to worry about, which is, I wonder if that vaccination five years from now, because really the anti-vaxxers, I think, were really just distrustful of big companies and big government. That's never wrong. It's never wrong to distrust government. It's never wrong to distrust big companies. Right? What? Except so if I'm you scared. just took the position, let's just distrust everything the government did, well, you won. <laughs> So it, it's never wrong to do that. You said it was. You see, game theory, this is why I said that, because he's yeah. like, and you want, like, it's not a game, right. stupid. It wasn't, a, right, it's not a game. And it wasn't about winning or losing. It was about why can't we have a normal debate 
about uh, science like science is supposed to work? Why do we have to be censoring people who have different conclusions and who have different data? Because Dilbert's that big of a pussy, and <laughs> you won. You have to kick him when he's down. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. You won. <laughs> you won oh. completely. I'll get you next I time. I did not end up in the right place. <laughs> agree? You would all agree with that, right? I did not end up in the right place. The right place would be natural immunity, no, no vaccination. You should take victory. And I should take defeat. We can agree on that, right? That that my position is now the weakest, and, and your position has gone from the weakest to the strongest. What? And I, I said, you so you want to give like he said, I don't know how he does it. He's pulling. I don't know how he pulls this off. He's managing to say he was a hundred percent wrong, right. and we were a hundred percent right. And he still comes off having you somehow we're agreeing with him you agree with me right wait a minute no we disagreed with you stop I, fucking trying to make it look like you're somehow still right uh, look if you haven't Did, been able to internalize it <laughs> properly like maybe wait to post do you know what i mean like it's so insane what he's doing like it's insane have this fit before you go on camera and make a chart behind yourself of it <laughs> or say it through a dilbert i don't understand say it through a dilbert 20 years for dilbert come on dilbert and that this is like if george r, r martin in addition to not finishing that book was dicking around on youtube about <laughs> vaccines <laughs> save it for a very uh save it for a, a, a dilbert car, a hashtag a very special dilbert yeah <laughs> I think that should be the title. So let's listen to more. That we can just say that's true. The people who didn't give acts are absolutely in the winning position. Oh, oh. I you win. a very special Dilbert. You win. <laughs> you are the winners. <laughs> you are the winners. He just keeps saying right, this. Let me say that part with no ambiguity. Okay. So you won. It's still you kind won. of ambiguous how you keep saying that. Uh, all, all of my fancy analytics got me to a bad place. All of your heuristics, don't trust these guys, it's obvious, totally worked. <laughs> you okay. dork! Okay. I mean, that is a great comic, actually, Dilbert, because that is like kind of a perfect name of like Dilbert. Dilbert. Yeah, like he had something going. So I, this person made a great point. I don't think he, I think he missed the point. I don't see winners or losers. I see people that have been lied to, people that are now terminally injured and worse, dead, nothing to celebrate, and I'm unvaccinated. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? I guess one side of... Uh... So he said the correct position. I have to correct him, too, for YouTube. He said that uh, the correct position was the no vax and natural immunity. But the vaccine, as you and I know, Kurt, is safe and effective, and it will keep you from being severely ill or hospitalized or death. And it uh, will slow the spread and contraction of the virus. So we know that. I'm just reporting what he's yeah. saying. And also, uh, I'd like to debunk the rumors that... One side of Justin Bieber's face won and one lost because of that. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> I can just see Justin Bieber. You happy? You won. You, you won. won. You win. You get, you got, my paralyzed uh, side of my face wins. <laughs> that is not. I anyway. clearly, this side of my face was clearly wrong. I don't know. Is, can Elon... Now, Elon can say on Twitter that he lost. Uh, so guess, here's yeah. how. So so I, when I saw that video, of Scott Adams, I felt I was like, oh, good. I was I did. I put together a segment had, patting him on the back for doing that. I don't like him referring to people who questioned the covid narrative as anti-vax because they're not. Um, but or some of them are. But m people like us aren't. Most people who are questioning it weren't. Uh, or are not anti-vax. Uh, but then I went to t his Twitter feed and he starts saying shit like this. It was a coin flip and some guessed right. No. What, those of us who invested in Pfizer? <laughs> like so what he's saying is, hey, he didn't really get it wrong. He just got unlucky. It was a coin flip and you guys got lucky this time. And next time he could have got lucky. It's not Boy, because he's dumb or that he's wrong or that he wasn't properly skeptical. Hold on a minute. We've come a long way from science and trusting the science to right. it was a coin, coin flip. flip. 
That's how science right. works. That sounds very similar to guy, yeah, he's got non-scientific. A, he's, got, uh, he's got a whiteboard with fucking game theory behind it, but then it turns out to be just, so. This is so. That's I was like, oh, at least he has the integrity and character to admit he was wrong, which he does. But then he backtracks. I didn't think he admitted he was wrong with any character. It sounded like he was trying to desperately say he's not wrong while he yes that that's what i said it sounds like he finally got to this point he finally got here i got it. it's a coin it was not a coin flip Scott. so then he says uh you guessed that he, he said guess people's guessed people guessed right he said guess he says we're in a hindsight phase whoever was certain during the fog of war is claiming genius now no we no. weren't certain just smarter but, than scott adams yeah we were <laughs> but we were certain that you couldn't be certain about what you were saying that's what we were certain about and we were certain that the things they were saying were lies to the projection. like the fact that you could vaccinate your way out of this pandemic i knew was a lie in uh early 2021 that, so that was almost two years ago i knew that and people are people still don't know that so again this go ahead you want to say he, something he claimed what's so crazy is like you could tell how his brain it's like that projecting thing that you keep talking about yes how he thinks is the whole time when he was sneering at anyone like as if you're a moron to even think yes there could be a problem with this that's right and, and so he was claiming genius and that's what you're doing when you're making a chart of real basic shit like a real like basic you don't need shit to make a chart about <laughs> yes so he imagines like great now i'm not the official genius <laughs> i have a picture of a brain in my profile <laughs> Well, here's one more. The fog of war. War on who? This guy says, early on, I saw a stat that said the vaccine hesitant were largely those with no education and those with postgraduate uh. degrees. Said differently, coin flippers and those who knew better. He says, I'll bet college professors have the highest vax rate. So they want to be fired. <laughs> they want to lose their position. Yeah, be, that's right. Because they're they're mandated to be uh, our friend in Florida. Uh, I'm blanking Tim it. Canova? Tim Canova almost got lost his job yeah. over it. That's why they're high. second only to truckers from Canada. That, that's right. The, by the way, the truckers in Canada had a higher rate of vaccination than the general population. The truckers. Uh, hey, I don't want to be a winner. I wish I was wrong. So many family and friends have been injured by this. It's devastating. Now, those injuries are rare. So I have to tell you what the YouTube science yeah. is, that there are ad ad advert adverse events, but those are rare. Uh, it was never a competition. Some drank the Kool-Aid, some didn't. And the Kool-Aid drinkers berated everyone else for two years. Jobs were lost, relationships were destroyed, families torn apart, and people lost their lives. The only winners are in Davos. I like how he spells it with a C instead of a K, because that's how you spell Kool-Aid with a K. Oh, that's right. Why do you think they spelled it with a K? I don't know. It wasn't Kool-Aid either. It was like Weilers or something. No, there's Kool-Aid and then there's Weilers. No, I mean that Jim Jones drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh, they Jim drank Jones. Weilers? Uh, maybe it wasn't. I don't want to besmirch the Weilers <laughs> sugar drink name, but it wasn't actual Kool-Aid. It was some cheap brand. Give me some razzles. They're a whole candy store in a package. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Uh, so there's Scott Adams. There's a at least he admitted it kind of, but then he's then he's like, ah, you guys got lucky. <laughs> and that's such a like beyond anything politics or anything. That's such a arrogant, like Sam Harris level of arrogant, not as smart as you think you are, uh, energy from him. Like, like were you just drawing charts and you think that means you're smart? I don't know, but. You know, uh, some smart people do. They figure it's just so, he calls, <laughs> so if you're a critical thinker, he calls you anti-vax. If, yeah, right. if you have, if you have, if you are properly skeptical of big pharma and the government as captured by big pharma, then you're an anti-vaxer. You're not a critical thinker. Isn't he like? I don't want to know if it's specifically conservative, but he's on the conservative end. Where you well, would think. That's I, what I yeah. think he is. I don't. I think he's a so, libertarian. I could be wrong about all that. Well, so don't he, go by me. I think there's a. I think he didn't like Trump, right? And there was like a hatred of these people you imagine are Trump people mm -hmm. that are injured. You know, they made it, even though Trump was a real pro-vaccine guy. Trump wants credit. Who helps? Who would like credit for it? The warp, warp speed. I think it's just mixing up your other hates and superiorities, you know? Yes. You know, hey, if I'm the guy that fucking invented Dilbert, I'm going to think pretty highly of myself. 
<laughs> going to a bar like I mean <laughs> the way he acts is how I want to act all the time <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey fucking dummies stupids everybody's hey. an idiot except me shut up and here the thing is and if you get it right you're lucky I still, hey, I'm still the guy who created Dilbert. That's right. Dipshit. Dipshit. And I got more Twitter followers than you. So that's how I want to act. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're doing live stand-up comedy in Los Angeles, Tempe, Arizona, Palm Springs, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, Nashville, Northampton, Massachusetts, and a lot more places. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets and become a premium member. While you're there, you get access to all of our stuff. See you then.